It's the year of the tiger, and you don't need to look very far if you want to get in on the tiger trend from chic slippers to stunning dessert plates. There are lots of options to choose mm. from. Those born in the year of the tiger are known for their assertiveness, their mm -hmm. courage, their hunger for the thrill. They also crave attention and can be a bit short-tempered. Mm. Sure. That does not mean they are not capable, though, of great generosity. Wow, wow. So don't be fooled. Yeah. But boy, when I think China patterns, I think Paul Conrad. He yeah. has been a big proponent yeah. of... Yeah picking out baubles for his house yeah, for years. And I love a good dessert plate, yeah. so you get me something like that, I'm on fire. <laughs> what would be great. your number one recommendation to people looking to start a good china set? Oh, oh. gosh. You had that's to pick a, just yeah. one thing, Paul. Uh, yeah, that's uh, such <laughs> Can I jump in here? Yeah, yeah. You have mentioned this to me in the past. You yeah. say it all starts with the gravy boat. Oh, yeah. And oh, you yeah. build it around the gravy okay. boat. Okay. Yeah, I do yeah, have I, I don't know if you remember plate. that. Yeah, the yeah. butter plate yeah. with the... Your mind went blank there. Yeah, for yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm getting older, and things are slipping away yeah. from me now. But you're right, the, that and the old butter bowl. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. You're Number welcome. eight, uh, did you know that squirrels actually organize their nuts? What? Wait, yeah. hold on. It may seem that they just stash their nuts all willy-nilly right. as they rush to make sure they have enough for the winter Hungry. and to hide them from their animal enemies who are out to get there, uh, who are too lazy to go out there and get their own nuts. Yeah. A scientist at the University of California, Davis, found that sometimes they actually use a system really? that organizes those stored nuts by size and species. This is a bagel. They use uh, a technique psychologists call chunking. All right. Chunking. In which similar nuts are lumped into more manageable and memorable chunks. Okay. <laughs> that way, they've mentally organized their hoard and they'll know where to find it okay. later. Huh. Ah, good planning. Look at that. Hmm. Good for them. Number seven, nothing's worse than an earworm. It's that song that gets into your head and you oh, can't yeah. stop singing it or humming it. Well, some music scientists did a study and they used certain competing songs to cure people of their earworms. And right. according to their research, the following songs were the most successful. Happy Birthday, oh, yeah. the A-Team theme song. Ooh, now we're talking to you. Sledgehammer by Peter Gabriel. And God Save the Queen by the Sex Pistols. Karma Chameleon by Culture Club. Oh, right. I hate that song. Wait, that's supposed to cure earworms? Because I hear that yeah, song. Yeah, because it's... Once yeah. you get day. that one, then you get the You're next just one. substituting one for the other. Yeah, that's yeah. what it seems yeah, like. That's where you like, end that, is where you get That's trouble. what I'm thinking, too. Yeah. So next time you've got a song in your head, try one of these. In most cases, uh, the cure tunes suppress earworms without becoming earworms oh, themselves, yeah. they there say. But I, I don't see right. how that's possible. Well, you don't want to end on the chameleon. Thing. You want to go yeah. to mbop. Oh, yeah, that's, oh, that's a song, right? Yeah, I know there. you Once love that. that in there, mm your, your brain will jiggle. That's a yeah. good one, too. Yeah, it is. All right, number six, an oldie but a goodie, animals that look like TV and movie characters. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, here's number two. <laughs> look at that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Sure. That's fun. Oh, how about some flossy? Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh, it's a cow. <laughs> yeah, I see it. <laughs> hmm? Isn't that interesting? Boy, this just keeps going. Yeah, it's a fun game. <laughs> yeah, I see it. <laughs> there you are, fun time. All right, number five, he's one of the most famous singers in the world right now, but Ed Sheeran has not had a cell phone in seven years. He said his phone made him sad and overwhelmed, so he threw it away one day. Oh. Says it allows him to live in the moment and not be bothered by distractions. Ah. So how does he communicate with the world? Email. He says every few days he sits down, opens his laptop, and answers 10 emails at a time, then he closes it up and walks away. Wow. It's pretty admirable. Of course, he's probably got five assistants that, right. can, yeah. that can text him stuff and, yeah. And, yeah. and tell him what, who's calling him. Right. But, uh, huh. Wouldn't that be nice? There yeah. is a certain freedom in not being... Right, not hearing from your parents, right? your siblings, your yeah. children, all those things, right? Wow. Hmm. And you get that guy acting like the big shot with his phone in his ear, walking down the street, talking to himself like he's a big shot. Yeah. A yeah. real big shot wouldn't have a phone. He'd have yeah, somebody yeah, carrying the phone right. for him, right? Yeah. Good point, Bill Larry. Gates isn't sitting there going, you know. Right. Yeah. You're right, Larry. <laughs> You're always weird. thinking, Larry. Smart. 
That's why you're an anchor chair number one. <laughs> I can only dream of being that smart. I know. To get into I know. That, one right? of these days, I'll slide yeah. over there and. I'm not even yeah. close anymore. Uh, I've been even removed from the set. Yeah, you're bumped over. <laughs> <Is> that... <laughs> One bad wonderlick test. I'm lucky I'm not in the hallway. Yeah. Put me on the hallway outside of the yeah. ladies' room. For I know. Part of the you want to swap that out for my ice cream cart that no. I use yeah. in sports? Yeah. I give you that. If you want? Yeah. yeah. Feels like that's coming down the road. Yeah. Uh, number four. This is kind of cool. There's a product design company called Living with Jack. They make stuff for people who want less clutter around the house. Ooh. Uh, this is called the Snap Jacket. Yeah. Huh. Heck. Right. No, it's Whoa, not. Right. this table yeah. is fantastic. Yeah, but do you want to do this every morning? No. Right. Yeah, Probably. that's the thing. At some point, you're just going to leave it out out of convenience. Right. Yeah. You got kids? Yeah. It's a nice idea. Good for them. Good for them. Yeah. But when you have company, maybe you just slap it on the wall and you're done. Hey, let's stay with it. Oh. All right. Oh, this is oh. showing us how easy it is to put it together. What? It just it's folds right away? up. Oh! Oh, looky there. Now look at that. Mm. Huh. Ooh, oh, you all right, Pat? But again, yeah. you're wow. pulling that down three times a day. Sorry about That's, that. Uh, yeah. That's right, Pat. I love hiccups. It happens. Everybody hiccups. Yeah. That was a good one, though. <laughs> Number three. Here's something <laughs> sweet. The long-distance friendship lamp. Maybe you've got a kid in college in another state, a best yeah. friend is far away, or a long-distance oh, lover. Well, this is for you. When you touch your lamp, oh, theirs yeah. will light up, or Ooh, vice versa. Really? The lamps are connected to Wi-Fi. It's 125 bucks for the set from Uncommon Goods. And if you've got a, a lot of friends and they're scattered all over the country, you can buy a bunch of these. All you do is assign each friend a different color. Mm. Good idea for grandparents as well. Yeah. Well, it's so much easier than just a call or a text that yeah. says, hey, thinking of you. No, <laughs> right. right. But you know what's going to happen. You send that to your mother and be like, oh, you're thinking about me, huh? But it's not. you're not yeah. thinking about me enough to pick up the phone and right. talk right. to me and see right. how I'm doing. That, and this light well, hasn't we gone off in six peek. weeks. We just got a peek into Robin's relationship yeah. with her mother, didn't yeah. we? Understand. That's right. They'll be like, um, yeah, it just, it, can you just email, can I just email you something now? Yeah. And you just call me because it keeps blinking right. and yeah. I don't get it. It's I not working. It isn't working. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, number two, a recent article in The Atlantic should be reassuring to just about everybody. It's titled, No One Cares, as in, no one cares about you. And yes, it's good news. As the writer and Harvard professor Arthur Brooks points out, for virtually all of human history, it did make sense to worry about what everybody else thinks because we were in close-knit clans and tribes and survival from cold and st starvation depended on it. That evolutionary instinct is still in our brains, but the good news is studies show that our friends and neighbors aren't constantly thinking about us. They aren't looking to judge us. And the more we remind ourselves not to judge others, the better we feel. Mm. So people don't care. Yeah, people don't aren't thinking about you, you half as too much as you think. About what yeah. Everyone thinks. yeah. Very cares, true. So yeah. All right, here at number one, here's another great one from our pal Ricky Cobb and his Twitter feed, Super 70 Sports. It says, here's Bob Euchre and Bob oh, yeah. Gibson holding hands in the Cardinals team photo. <laughs> <laughs> now, where am I? I'm going to zoom in here. Yeah. <laughs> you got to zoom okay. in. Okay. Yep, All right, so here. they're going to zoom in. This is for the team go. photo in 1964, right? <laughs> well, the story behind this is right before the photo was taken, Euchre had whispered to Gibson, we should hold hands. So Gibson played along, <laughs> but the team was not happy. They had to retake the photos and put Gibson and Euchre in separate rows. Years later, Bob Euchre showed a bunch of his baseball photos on Johnny Carson. That's great. Obviously, you don't get a shot of it as a. This is a, a team. Uh, this is a team picture that uh, once a year they have these uh, team uh, team picture days is what they are and. Uh, on this particular day, this cost Bob Gibson, uh, one of the great pitchers in baseball, it cost him and I a couple hundred dollars. They had taken the picture and uh, they had proofed it and everything and then brought it back to the ballpark before they finally caught that scene there. What, I can't, can you come a little closer on that? Well, Bob and I are holding hands. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get a, we're gonna get a. 
gonna get a close shot of that. <laughs> you, you certainly are, aren't you? That's what, guess who's coming to pitch? <laughs> That's great. That's a nine at nine. All right. Oh, was there it's more? It's the nine at nine. 